You know, one thing that I like about submarine <laughs> movies the most is that it always ends up being a bunch of people in a control room listening for something outside the walls. <laughs> What's up, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Business. My name's Josh. And I'm Mike. And we're here to let you know just how drunk you have to get to watch Hunter Killer. Sir, we've got a shootout under the ice. I told Six Fleet you want a Hunter Killer. We've been ordered to cross waters if no American sub has ever crossed before. Hunter Killer is the new submarine movie because we got to get one every year. <laughs> Gerard Butler trying to stop World War III from happening mm -hmm. by stopping this internal conflict in Russia to stop torpedoes <laughs> yep. and the bombs and the war. Damn it. <laughs> this movie was boring as fuck <laughs> because it's a bunch of people listening for waves, <laughs> listening for torpedoes, and the other people in an office building saying like, we don't know where they are. This movie is full of super cheesy dialogue from Gerard Butler, always saying the most dramatic thing right before he's about to open a door to walk away, like, just so you know, man, this could be it. <laughs> you can't just walk out of the room and say this kind of shit all the time. We're under a lot of pressure here. <laughs> under pressure. Doom, 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 doom. All right, I'll be good. <laughs> There's horrific CGI. You guys couldn't get just like a stand-in submarine. Could you build like just the top of one or it's something? <laughs> just do something. Well, it's like you couldn't just like pay Gerard Butler's ticket to like tour a submarine <laughs> and follow with a camera behind it. <laughs> it would look a hundred times better. Just like, here's 12 bucks, <laughs> buy that tour. We're gonna follow right behind you. Just say your lines. It's like a fat dude with a fanny pack in the background eating a hot dog. Gerard Butler is like, we need to rescue these We're men. We're in Russia now. <laughs> and then at one point, I'm almost positive they switched to just straight up stock footage from like army recruitment videos or something because, and it's just like shitty grainy helicopter footage of like sides of boats and shit that looks like it was filmed in 95. <laughs> we have no money left. Go to the PBS <laughs> library, find some shitty public footage of battleships. As long as it's public ships. domain and it's battleships. And that's going to the fucking movie. <laughs> Did we talk about Common? Common's in the movie. Gerard Butler's job is to listen intently to the sonar. <laughs> and Common's job is to look up at a screen that shows a map and just him going like this. <laughs> this movie just a lot of people listening to things and looking at things. All of that said, I was dreading sitting through this and I hated the first half, but somehow but. the second half of this movie is pretty fucking cool. I was getting surprised with myself I'm like, Wait a minute. Wait, is this good now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some badass things are happening right Excuse now. Excuse me, sir. This is like good, right? This is <laughs> this just got good? Because the the end has some awesome action. Uh -huh. It's super fucking intense. There's some good like twists and turns from people switching sides. They they have this uh, ground force of like navy it's seals. It's like a seal or team. Yeah. yeah, and that is. Badass. Yeah, that like sent in. really makes the movie. Yeah, especially because when you're on the fucking submarine, you can't see shit. It's just right. people listening. They're like, <laughs> they figure like, let's show some people up a, on the ground so we can actually show something other than fucking pipes. And there's some awesome ship battles underwater. And the last like 45 minutes is genuinely a good movie. Right. Raise that mainsail. And what's your rating? You know submarines don't have sails, right? You know this. They could have a mainsail. It is. No, they can't. Quite possible. <laughs> it's not possible. You know how sailing works, right? It's motherfucking wind on the motherfucking surface. You never know. They might do like. Yeah, a... No, I do know. <laughs> no, the th no, no, the, the thing is, I do know. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. What does that mean? Exactly. A team up with this movie. <laughs> To my surprise, I give Hunter Killer a buzzed. The end of this was a thousand times better than I was ever expecting. It just drink for an hour and then show up to this film, you're gonna have a great time. I have to be a little bit more critical. I'm going drunk for this one. Although the second half was incredibly good, it just 
could not raise up the standards enough. Oh, thank God. I thought you were going to say raise the sales. Subs don't have sales. <sighs> That's a warship. Flash! Race for impact! Cheers. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to hit that bell icon to be alerted when we're drinking. You guys want to drink along with us. It's true. And y'all, let's get the conversation started. What's your favorite submarine slash battleship movie? Mention it in the comments down below, but if you write battleship, I'm gonna fucking hate your guts. <laughs>